Well, there's a lots of, lot of ways to uh, start an idea, um, but uh, today I can maybe do a reimagination of the Ferrari Daytona. Now I'm going to focus on would be obviously the bold rear section that is one big um, ellipse of a nice circle section that goes throughout the body side and it kind of this feature from the DLO becomes a kind of a step into the body side and then again it goes runs through and it forms the mm, bonnet and everything so I think the best way to um, reiterate this is by doing actually the same kind of si uh, rear quarter view and because I feel very strongly about this rear quarter view um, I would first do the rear quarter view and then maybe think about um, the other views um, after that because I want to capture this most so that's um, how I would uh, proceed in design. Um, so again, uh, line, uh, light lines, just try to get the uh, gesture of the car. <clears throat> but what the biggest, what's most different from um, these old old cars and the new cars is actually the sections uh, of course the pillars as well but um, pretty much it's the modern day cars have much more body side towards the ground and in the classic cars it really wraps up quite uh, fastly to the almost is like a big um, fuselage but um, now we usually have a very big amount of body side almost going down to the ground so if the original car would be doing this and then big fat tires uh, nowadays the car's body side goes down to the almost to the ground and that kind of gesture um, immediately um, makes the car look really modern so I'll be placing the tires the wheels and now I'm getting kind of feel <clears throat> um, and the bold section I want to really capture And maybe I might, so the DLO should be roughly the same kind of shape, but I would like to reinterpret uh, the, this line that comes from the C pillar into a more uh, fast flowing line. So I would put a line and then obviously you can make a door cut or parting line like this and it shows the section again um, put the wheels there and then put the center of the wheels on the far left and yeah immediately it, uh, so it shows you a lot of 3D. And again, um, what I do is you can do like a squiggly squiggly, but also you can really structure it. So if this ellipse is like this, um, do another ellipse slightly towards the left, smaller. And then think about the depth of the al aluminum wheels. Like this. And also like 
like this. So now you read the uh, depth of the alumin aluminium wheels. So, yeah, I think I got what I wanted from the body side. So this is still one section up till here. But again, to the rear, if the original car was wrapping around really um, strongly, this now the cars today are much more um, body side and uh, to the ground. So maybe a diffuser area. And maybe I'll interpret the uh, rear design more like a and I'm going with just one lamp at the back screen. But I guess um, as you just keep on sketching along, um, it's, it's uh, much more like a very gradual thing. So you don't need to be really like fixed on one design and just keep it, it can just keep on evolving. Um, you can almost think that you can use the correction tape. If you don't like the roof line, just go across. You just need to see the nice gesture that you like. Try to capture that. Which I thought the roof line was a bit too um, high. And the A pillar too uh, upright. So I'm trying to get a much more faster look, much more fluid. Kind of design. Of course, the prancing horse. I don't know how to draw this, but it's like a metaphor. Okay. So you have to think. Um, it is one section, but. I introduced this line to almost to the rear, so it would be a small section, but it has this flick. And then I'm thinking there should be a light catching uh, element down there. And yeah. Maybe smaller, more linear section there and of course again it's very important to um, draw the outside of the car silhouette maybe the wheels are a bit too small and uh, Diffusers, exhaust, tailpipe. But there was one feature um, on the body side, which it was more like a um, parting line, but I want to maybe interpret that as a, more of a feature. So, um, yeah, so it goes almost straight into the center of the body side. Maybe you can make it as a bold um, negative section on the body side and it fades out. 
and this could be maybe the um, engine uh, outlet for the heat. It could be arrow, it could be anything, but yeah, that's um, up to the engineers, I guess. Yeah, so kind of have the rough idea now. So again, making the car see through in the ground. And you're just calculating in your mind, you should calculate the tire size um, and then the front rear, rear tires will be there. So that would be the ground see-through. Yeah. You can make the cabin see-through to make more 3D. I mean, at the end, these would be um, sources for your awesome uh, Photoshop renderings. So right now it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, it just need, you need to just put down a design and shape that you want. Um, so you don't need to be super stressed getting everything super perfect. Um, maybe the light internals again, because this, this inner circle in real life is the outer circle and the inner circle has depth. So I'm looking at it from rear three quarter from here. Um, that's why like the wheels, the center is here, but from this side, it is in the far right. So that again, immediately creates kind of a depth um, in the rear, uh, lamps and that again helps the sketch to be much more um, 3d so now we got a rough idea for the rear quarter um, and pretty much also a lot of features on the side you can do maybe a side view but uh, I think we can just jump straight straight to the front three quarters mm -hmm.